start today. I'm out doing a little bit of uh, lure fishing for the perch. That's a change as the uh, carp lakes are uh, clearly, uh, what should we say, not fishing too well at the moment. I haven't actually got as much, made much time as I normally have today. So I've done a little gardening job this morning, tied out someone's garden, so it's just round the corner. So I'll just dump, dump my lure rod in and uh, my net and stuff in. And I thought, well, a little bag, we'll give it a go. Wander around here a couple of times, see how we get on. Very nice little place, isn't it? I don't really fish here in the summer. Well, my last video I did here in the summer it was well, not too clever, but this time of year I think things are a little bit better. I might even try uh, coming out again next week actually and um, fishing with, um, with prawns for the perch actually. And that's a quite good method. In general I think it actually works in here as well. So we should give it a go. You never know. I might catch myself a perch today. I'll just have to see. Anyway, we're just now coming down to the lake. And uh, it's quite pleasant. I am the only one here. Uh, which is quite nice. You know, bound to see carp today. Normally what happens when I do these things. But uh, you never know. Nice little set of pads and things down there. I'll have to have a little look at those around there. I think that's probably the best area. Nice little uh, overhanging trees and things. Some more dead pads over there. Uh, there's plenty of features in here. Definitely got to be worth a go. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. And uh, hopefully I might get some perch. Just have to see. First stripey of the day. Not bad. Can't complain at that. Shed the hook, which makes things leave you as well. So I'll get a little bit on video as well, have a laugh. There we go, guys. First striper of the day. Hopefully, a few more to come. Not very big, haven't weighed yet. Not weighing at the moment, we'll see. But yeah, quite impressed with that. Do. That's a little bit of perch fishing. Love it. Well, I've probably worked my way around a quarter of the lake you now, around beds, around this little bay here. One fish so far, which is okay. I've got plenty more of the lake to go over there, and there's another channel beyond the bridge. And there's been working the lure up and down under these trees and around the tree roots. We'll see what we, how we get on, really. It's looking quite promising for another fish, it's looking quite a promising day, really. A lot better than uh, was on Wednesday. It was cold on Wednesday. What was it yesterday? Don't know. Can't remember now. Yesterday. A lot better today. There we go. Anyway, should crack on. See if I can get another perch in the uh, in the net and uh, keep on going. Oh, there we go. Second strike the other day. Quite happy with that one. Not bad. Sorry about the filming, it's ridiculous because I haven't got a long enough bank stick, but quite happy with that one. Give it a quick weigh, probably about another pound and a bit. But we'll see. Back down the lake again today. I've got a fair few hours today, just after lunch. I'll go and collect the kids, sort stuff out. Uh, I just my birthday. I thought it would be rude not to uh, come fishing. A perfect spot in this corner, I've got some pads. There's sort of two swims here, so I'm going to stick some rods in this swim. And then I might just move around the corner and reposition them slightly to spot some line hanging down which is a bit of a pain but there we go but after the perch we'll see how we get on it's a little bit milder today so knowing my luck I'll see some carp but what can we say 
that's uh, all good information if I do spot any carp. You've got the uh, centre pin there on one rod, so I thought I'd <laughs> make a change, it'd be interesting to see if I can catch a uh, perch on that, and you never know if a uh, carp picks up a prawn or a lobworm. It uh, could be entertaining. Would you have those pads there? I think it would be more entertaining for the uh, onlookers than uh, me. I don't think it would be too clever, but you never know. So we'll give it an hour a little bit in this swim and then we'll uh, move around to another little area. We'll try and fish about three swims today. With, uh, an hour and a bit in each. A little time to move around and set up. An hour's fishing if I haven't picked, picked anything up by then. Perch on here. Got me, if it doesn't all go that well, I've got my jig rod with me, so I might just take a walk round at the end, see if we can uh, encourage any to come out, but I shall see how we go. Anyway, I'll keep you updated as things go along, and uh, maybe get a fish, just never know. Well, I've moved on to my second area. Gives me quite a few options. I had a few knocks in the other area. Just couldn't seem to manage to get the get the be able to hook a fish, which is a bit strange, but I'm still only really learning on this game, so what I've done is I've come round here. There's no one else on the lake today, so I'll have a wander around, I'll have a play around with a few swims. My aim is to actually uh, hopefully head back to the last swim. That I was in, maybe for the last hour, and see how we get on there. I can't seem to sort of produce any more. The swimmer caught the perch out of the other day, I might actually uh, spend a bit of time in as well, because that was a uh, quite interesting area. Just have to see how we get on, really. Uh, fingers crossed, we get one on the bank. Still a learning curve, so never going to complain about that. Well, third swim, and I bagged a perch, and it was on the centre pin as well, so that's quite entertaining. Hopefully I'll bag some more, the weather conditions are, well, they're quite good really, but not quite what I was looking for, as in it's raining all day. <laughs> it would have been a much more enjoyable day if it had just been overcast and grey, and uh, not so much on the tipping it down front getting soaking wet and muddy but uh, it's fishing for it isn't it I'm happy I've caught a perch I'll put the baits back out again I might uh, I'm gonna stay here for a little bit longer uh, I might well move back to where I started from because uh, I'm still pretty sure there's a uh, perch in that area Give it a little bit longer here I might just stay in here and then just uh, play around with the lure or something like that reel in for half an hour and have a little little bit of a play, give the swimmer a break and then come back, you know, which we'll just have to see, but uh, yeah, not going to complain, pretty good, anyway, I'll uh, give you another update later, sort things out, yeah, happy trails, eh? Well, finally bagged a, yeah. Uh, Better, ain't it? Finally bagged a little perch. Not bad at all. Just under two pound ten. Two pound ten? No, one pound ten it is. Just under two pound. But uh, yeah, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. On the prawns. Well happy with that. Can't say more, Greg. Love it. Hope we can catch some more. Get some bait out. Here we go. Well, I'm in my final spot. Final sort of 45 minutes. I've got to be gone by two. Probably a little bit before, to be fair. Uh, let's see how it goes. Um, I thought I'd come back. I'm on the sort of like the opposite side of the pads where I started from, really. The swim to the right of me is where I started off, and I come to this little corner here and I sort of flick them over the gaps in the pads. A little bit of uh, bait out there. Hopefully, there's some fish still here, and we shall see, really. Anyway, if not, I've had a fantastic day, 
come up and plain. The weather's been a little bit all over the place, but uh, we haven't blanked, we've enjoyed ourselves, we've learnt a bit, that's what it's all about. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, catch up with you all soon.